ladies and gentlemen. CEO confirms price cuts, reshaping market dynamics. Neo sub-brand disrupts, offering affordability and innovation, challenging competitors. It's going to ruin the market. This will destroy everything. It's going to ruin everything, man. The CEO has confirmed what I said. He has confirmed the rumors about reducing base prices and battery rental prices. And they've also given some very important points worth noting. So the entire policy base came in August 2020. And the atmosphere at that time was completely different from what it is now. And over the years, NEO has truly polished battery maintenance and increased the lifespan of battery packs as well. So, you know, previously pricing and everything might have been based on the earning from the battery lifespan. But now that has really increased, so it makes more sense to reduce the price a bit. And also, there's a big difference in raw material costs and everything else, so they can reduce that too, and essentially reduce the base price. The benefit of making the bus so affordable is immense for NEO. Because remember, if you choose the bus and lease the battery, you immediately reduce the purchase price by less than 70,000 RMB. So, the ET5, which starts at $298,000, becomes 229,000 RMB. And then you pay for the battery usage on a monthly basis. But for a long time, it seemed that this was not worth it. But now, with the bus, you get tax breaks, and then you also get this lower price, which the CEO has confirmed. This is for everyone, right? Even for current NEO owners, our monthly payments will decrease. So, this is beneficial for everyone. I believe this will be preferred more, and it also makes the car cheaper. This fact should not be forgotten, and this is also helping them in the real battle of pricing. And friends, I see the real game changer in taking the bus and leasing the battery instead of buying it, and even imagine with the sub-brand, it's the real game changer, and maybe they can also do it with the bus. Leasing the battery? This will only be madness. A car worth 200,000 RMB, yes. This will start from only 200,000, and then you basically, and if the battery pack, let's assume it's the same 70,000 RMB, maybe it will be different because I've heard rumors that it's a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack, and it could also be an 80 kilowatt hour battery pack. The cost for that probably would be different, but let's just assume it's the same. All right, as for Neo right now, it's 70,000 for the battery pack. And if you're able to rent that instead of buying it, subtract 70,000 from 200,000 RMB, then it only costs 130,000 RMB, and then you pay monthly for the battery rental. I mean that's just such a neck-breaking price at 130,000 RMB, you're able to get your hands on a sub-brand car that's good and quality, has everything a customer wants. It could be loaded, big screens, comfortable seats, and also has battery swap and single motor. If you want a single motor, that is going to just wreck everybody in the market because, hell man, why would you buy any other 130,000 RMB car? Even if you have to pay monthly for the battery rental, it's just so much more of a reasonable purchase. So the cheaper the price of the car, the more impactful it is. That's going to be insane. If NEO is able to offer this and then the sub-brand car that costs 200k goes down to 130k, then there's no way that the competitors can survive that. Man, how the hell are they going to survive that even though monthly payments? Yes, competitors say you still got to pay monthly, but damn, that is dirt cheap. Man, that is dirt cheap. 130,000 RMB, absolutely dirt cheap. And you know, if they're able to reduce these payments, Hell yeah man, that's just that's a hell of a deal I would definitely go for if I didn't have a car and we had that option. Sub-brand car 200k minus 70,000 for the base variant. So you buy it for 130,000. Anyone can afford that car and you can also finance a little bit with a down payment, let's say 10% or 15% down payment. That will be a 20,000 RMB down payment. Then you can buy the car and that's it. Yes. Wow, this is amazing, this is amazing. And then you can do better things. This will disrupt the market. This will ruin everything. It will ruin everything, man. If this is true, even Tesla will suffer from it. All right. Absolutely, we're not there yet. All right. 
So far, it's taking a long time for the sub-brand to be ready. And I'm quite sure because they have limited resources right now, so maybe they'll have limited resources for the sub-brand car as well. And they might understand. And by understand, what I mean is that in China, battery swap and base are separate for NEO, whereas in Europe, battery swap is integrated with the base. So you can only take battery swaps for the base model and use battery swap stations. Whereas for NEO, these are two separate things. Each NEO car can go to a battery swap station. Whether you buy just the base or the battery pack separately, it doesn't matter. But I think if they understand, they might decide to integrate both for the sub-brand as well. I mean, if you want access to better swap stations, then get the base variant of the car. Instead of buying the battery on rent and then buying it, getting a car for 130000 becomes very cheap and you pay on a monthly basis, but you also have access to swap stations. This will make a lot of sense and I really hope they do this. This will absolutely make sense. People will buy the base car and the price of the base will become the default price that people see the car at. And people won't see monthly payments for half a year worth of education as low-cost payments, but rather understand it as their right to use rental and swap stations to the fullest. So this is something I want to innovate upon. And if they do this, man, they might not reach the moon, but they'll reach Mars. They'll reach Mars, man. It's amazing. The impact of a cheap car like the ES8 is more profound, which costs about 600,000 RMB. Cutting off 70,000 RMB doesn't do much. All right, but if the price of the car is 200,000 RMB and you reduce it by 70,000 RMB, man, this is madness. What shortage is there in the price, man? This is almost a 35% shortage in the price, man. I hope this happens. I am almost 60% or 70% sure that this might happen. It will be good. It will do wonders for the shareholders. You'll see sales skyrocketing. People want to buy this car. People want excellent swaps. They want convenience, not charging. Standing in line to find chargers. Have you ever felt that on highways? You'll have to argue for chargers. Neo will jump entirely. Sales will shoot up entirely if their cars have base, which I'm quite sure will happen. CEO confirms market disrupting price cuts. Neo sub-brand innovates, offering affordability, challenging competitors, potentially reshaping the industry landscape significantly. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.